questions for Jim. If anybody wants to ask, I haven't gotten an update on Porzingis yet, so we can save the time. Um, on, on the injury, it looked like he got played. A few I, I didn't see what happened, and I haven't gotten an update yet, no. Um, so with Tatum on the play, with the um, flagrant there, did he come out of that okay, and what did you just see on that play? Uh, as far as I know, I mean, he looked like he was moving. I didn't ask him after the game. He looked like he was moving okay, but I'm sure he's fine. And um, with Derek tonight, what allowed him, you know, through the first three quarters, there, 31 points um, and just a shot quality. Yeah. The threes and all yeah, that. I mean, he hit some tough ones for us down the stretch, which is what he does. But I think, again, every game in this series is, is going to be a different game. It's going to take on a life of its own. And so uh, I thought they tried to play a faster paced game and dictate the pace of the game, which uh, I thought we did a good job of matching that. And um, when we play a little bit faster, um, it just creates opportunities for, for, for everybody. And so I thought our defense kind of led to our offense, and uh, Derek made some big plays for us. Knowing you wouldn't have Chris Tops in the second half, what was said at halftime, and how were you guys able to maintain that lead? And uh, Yeah, I mean, I thought uh, everybody just stepped it up. I thought uh, Al was tremendous, um, you know, only taking five shots, but his, his defense, his physicality, and then, you know, what Peyton, Sam, and Luke have done uh, throughout the whole season. So um, it's going to have to be from everybody. Knowing, obviously, that you don't know if Porzingis is going to miss some time or if he does, how long, does that change the pressure or anything like that on, on, on the next game to say, hey, you gotta, you got to make sure that you close this series out just so guys can get their rest and, and be ready to maybe make up for any potential loss? No, nothing changes. Um, bringing the same mindset, uh, intentionality, toughness, details to the next game, regardless of who's available, it doesn't matter. Uh, there's no difference between the regular season and the playoffs. And, uh, you know, all year we've had guys step in and play. So the most important thing is execute the game plan and uh, bring the mindset and the toughness it takes. Jay, then Garrett. It sometimes seems like you guys flow better and better the more Derek is involved. Um, when he got hot early, what did you like about the way he just kept being aggressive, kept looking for his own offense? Uh, like I said, I think... Uh, when he was aggressive early in, in possessions, coming off stops, pushing the pace, uh, he was able to create some cross matches. We were just able to create some some space there, and uh, he does a good job uh, of just you know we went to some more uh, small small stuff, kind of spaced uh, the bigs, and when we do that, that's when he has the ability to impact the game. Joe, what does it say about the depth that Jason and Jalen don't have to have these you know great games? That Derek kind of carries the way in the other guys. I mean, and you're you able to you led by as many as 28. I mean, it just seems like the depth here is is overwhelming at times. I mean, I think yeah. Um, I think it's a strength of us. It's something that we've done the entire season, and it's something that we have to continue to do. But um, we just you know it's a credit to those guys being ready to play all the time. And you know, for Jalen and Jason, it takes what it takes. There's nights where they have to be who they are, and there's nights where they got to. Uh, do other stuff, and I thought both of them throughout the game, uh, their defense was at a high level, regardless of how it was going for them. And on the offensive end, they mixed up screening, uh, they mixed up uh, ball handling, and at the end of the day, it, it, uh, our depth's allowed to you know take its advantages. So it's important. We got to try to keep that. More than Jack. Joe, when you talk about the intensity and the toughness, you guys played almost better defense in the first half tonight. Gave up less points than than in game three. Your second chance points again, plus 10, you're plus 30 the last two games. I mean, could you see areas of improvement even after a 20 point win last game coming into tonight? No, there's a lot of areas we got to get better. I thought, uh, I, I, listen, our um, physicality and uh, purpose was great. And uh, we just got to execute a little bit better. But uh, I thought in the first half, our physicality and our um, activity defensively made up for some of the mistakes that we made. And I think that's important. Is um, you, You're going to have a game plan. There's details. But you got your effort has to be able to take advantage of that. And uh, we've done that. And so the challenge is, can we maintain the level of effort and purpose along with the execution? Joe, uh, Derek and Al are pretty mild-mannered guys. You see Derek after those dunks get real fired up. Al after the bam, Tatum thing, go over, defend his. Uh, defend his teammate. What is it like for you to watch sort of everybody on the roster, even the guys who are pretty even keeled, sort of get hyped up in those moments, get pumped up at the playoffs, and how important is that throughout the postseason? Yeah, I think it's important. Uh, I think one of the things we've done is maintained our poise while showing passion and not emotion, and I think that's in important. So uh, I was going to keep that going. Jared and Josh. Uh, you guys, we talked a lot last week about how central KP is to so much of what you do offensively, but you also had 20 games this year to see how this team plays without him. So how did you feel like the team was able to kind of spring into playing more of the style that you play with? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, that was the, that's the whole key, I think, throughout the season is developing different ways to play on both ends of the floor. Uh, and so I thought the guys adjusted well uh, to doing that. And, um, you know, I think that's something that we try to focus on is regardless of who's out there, we have different identities. And uh, the guys were able to execute that well in the second half. Joe, I'm sure you came down here to Miami to win two games. What does it say about your team that you were able to do that? Uh, listen, the, this, this series is about toughness. It's about the next game. So um, we did what we had to do, and now we got to go do it again. And so uh, the team uh, who's the most consistent in their mindset, their toughness, their physicality will win in the challenges. We have to do it again and again and again. It takes what it takes. So um, that's it.